Hello everyone, I'm Elizabeth Alvarez. Welcome to KRQE News 13 at noon. Was it murder or suicide? That is the question jurors are being asked to answer as closing arguments are underway in the murder trial of former APD cop Levi Chavez, who is accused of killing his wife, Tara. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is live in the Newsplex with details. Crystal. Elizabeth, the jury first heard from the prosecution this morning who brought in a fake gun as a prop and gave a very descriptive reenactment of how the state believes Chavez murdered his wife, Tara. Slams that gun in and pulls the trigger, instantly killing Tara Chavez. And then he pulls the gun out and he turns it over and he lays it down. Prosecutor Brian McKay spoke to the jury for several minutes with that fake gun in his hand, then pulled out the gun used in Tara's death. The state then reminded the jury how one witness testified that the magazine was released after the shooting, saying there's no way if Tara committed suicide that could happen. Chavez sat in court showing little emotion as the prosecution painted him as a murderer. He was a rookie cop in 2007 when prosecutors say he killed Tara, then staged it to look like a suicide. Now that's been the defense's argument from the beginning, that Tara killed herself because of the couple's crumbling marriage. The defense started their closing arguments about an hour ago, saying prosecutors have been untruthful. That even during jury selection, the DA's office admitted a lot of those were lies. They've backed off some of them. Others they haven't, but I'm going to show you their lies. Now, the family of Tara Chavez, they were once again in the courtroom. They teared up in court after prosecutors put up pictures of their grandchildren. Back to you. Crystal, thank you. Once the defense is finished with their closing arguments, prosecutors will get one more chance to convince the jury. We have more on this murder trial coming up for you at 4, 530 and 10 o'clock. Plus, you can see it streaming live right now on KRQE.com.